Hello everybody, welcome to your June 2018 general reading for your sign. This will cover your sun, moon or rising sign, so I recommend you have a look at your other aspects that make up your uh, astrological chart. Um, but I'm Laurian, I'm a witch, tarot reader, astrologer, psychic, whatever else you want to call me basically and it's my pleasure to welcome you to these readings um, if you do want a private reading with me just click on the description box below It'll take you to my website I do Skype sessions as well if you want a one-to-one -one with myself I don't mind staying up past my bedtime I've done it before and I could do it again because I know some of you are in different time zones to me so it doesn't worry um, and also if you do want a developmental edit on your book or novel contact me if you want a spell contact me um, um, anything you need just click on the link below it's got all my details there and I'll be very very happy to help you um, but in the meantime I really hope that you let me know in the comments below how things go for you it's always a pleasure to talk to you I really appreciate every single one of you so without further ado let's get on to your reading hello Taurus I'm so sorry this is slightly later than planned um, but this is your Gemini sorry Gemini June reading for Taurus Sun, Moon and Rising. I'm just cleansing some of the energy from the previous readings that I've been doing. The reason this is slightly later than planned is simply because we've had a lot of electrical storms that shorted out my internet so there was literally nothing that I could upload. It would not take any videos to upload there. Um, so that's where the delay came from. If you want to look at some cool lightning though, <laughs> all you need to do is google Telford and uh, Midlands lightning storms and UK and stuff and you'll see some pretty cool lightning. Um, but like I say this is for Taurus Sun, Moon and Rising sign. This will cover in the month of June. We're using the Everyday Witch Tarot by Deborah Blake so without further ado let's get going. And let's see, do you want to come out? Mm, it's kind of, I'll put you over there. All right, let's see, oh hello, they're jumping for you, they haven't been jumping for Aries, so let's see what's coming up. Achievement. What are you achieving, Taurus? What are you doing? What's going on? What's happening for you? Challenges, ooh, challenger, or oh, challenges, I don't know whether it was challenges or challenges. Okay, Eight of Pentacles, working hard. Five of Wands. It's probably some people trying to discuss things. Maybe taking the mickey as they're doing so. We've got the Empress, awesome. The High Priestess, even better. Page of Wands. Ten of Pentacles, wow. Eight of Wands. Wow. And the Sun, okay. And then at the bottom you have the Page of Swords, which could be the one or it could be this one. Oh, the three of wands interesting now aries had that one so if you were in aries with some taurus in there or vice versa this is definitely something for you so page of wands always about messages so both of these are pages which is always about messages um this one has very much uh, more enthusiasm but no less curiosity as the swords i feel like there's a lot of um energy coming through here curiosity discovery being very enthusiastic oh sorry three of wands not the page it just looks very similar so three of wands has still got a lot of energy a lot of discovery because this is about foresight but i honestly feel like there's something coming through in these two that gives you some knowledge and some power to go up against the forces that may be conflicting you this month so there we go right let's see what's coming through here for you so yeah like I was saying challenges so it could be this this is about the five of wands so the five of wands can be about some people going no you do it this way no you do it this way this is the best thing it could be about group discussions people getting a bit oh the way I'm feeling it is a lot of disagreements going on about how you should be doing something or what the next best play is to do um but basically it could just be because you have a slice of wonderful home pie <laughs> and you have a new beginning and you've got some kind of balance here and some nice sort of contentment really 
and people are just arguing a lot with you because you have established yourself, you are establishing yourself, you're kind of creating a foundation for the next stage of your life, maybe it's to do with um, kind of going up the ladder of something or having the responsibility and the dedication to kind of study something in particular, something that's kind of coming to an end now so you can kind of move forward. People may be demanding a lot of your time, arguing about what you need to include next. Like, oh, you can't forget me, or you can need to do this next, or this is a natural point, and you don't do that, that's not lucrative, do this, this will be better for you. Just can focus on who matters, focus on the people who matter, focus on you, focus on the things that mean something to you. You don't have to listen to all this in the background. It could even be petty jealousy from somebody who wants what you have. So, again, do not listen to people who are deliberately trying to stir the pot this month. I would say as well, for the Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Wands, so we do have the Page of Wands here, it's a little bit of a upside down kind of thing. The Eight of Pentacles shows that you have been working hard, you've maybe even been isolating yourself or having this escapism to work so hard. You may be even doing the same things over and over and over again, trying to get them perfect, or having this feeling of um, an hour every day doing this, oh my god, it's never going to end, what's happening? So it could be the fact that, you know, your education is coming through here, your engagement with your brain is really happening here, like your brain is maybe overtaxing itself at some points, but the page of ones kind of lures you out of it, again, it's kind of like that enthusiasm, it's kind of saying, yeah, you may be going this way, but what about trying it this way, or what about stopping your routine? and going a little bit off the beaten track a little bit, you know, just go over here slightly, what's the, what's the harm, you know, and just kind of being that bit of exploration really. It could also be something about a pet, to be honest, it could literally be about a pet, taking you off the beaten track, exploring something with an animal, you know, just trying to find out, you know, the adventure of the area around you. Um, but I do think that there's something coming through that is allowing you to maybe balance it a little bit. They have the Empress with the Eight of Wands. Now the Empress is a really strong card. This is about abundance and nature and having that feeling of giving birth to something. So it could even be people coming to you for lots of advice and please help me, I need to do this and I don't know what I'm doing or there's some kind of um, thing that people want you to help with or you kind of like a beacon. You're being thrown into something really quickly as far as I can see. It's a really strong connection here. This is travel, change, movement, everything happening all at once almost. So you may have been waiting a while for some kind of news and then everything happens all at once and you're having to deal with real life stuff and then other things. So I think that this is kind of um, energy coming to pass here. You're going to draw and attract a lot of people. Be sure that these people are genuine because I feel like this is coming forward in a very strong manner and something that kind of manifests itself in a different way. So this is definitely coming forward and it's definitely being here for you but it just feels over the top and very much a case of um, you know your light, your very humble natural giving light could be a source of like moths to a flame. And it could be that you're kind of flapping your hands trying to get all these people away from you where the butterflies are. You want to drag them in. Or draw them in, sorry, not drag them in. And then we have the High Priestess and the Sun. So this is a beautiful combination. You're going to have a lot of potential, unconscious awareness of where you're going. Listen to your intuition. You won't know everything about the future, but you have enough knowledge behind you to actually give you the sense of where you're going to go next or where you want to go next. And coupled with the sun, this gives you an extra bit of freedom. This gives you greatness, vitality, uh, a lot of assurance, some enlightenment coming through here. And it's almost like you're feeling as free as you have in a while. And going into July, I think as well, especially in, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere where the sun's going to be really nice, it feels like you are on an up, on a high, and I don't think that you're going to come down again for a while. It feels very much like you're keeping things very real, and you're looking at things in a very realistic point of view. You know, you're a Taurus, you can do nothing but, but it feels a lot like you have to look at your intuition and that kind of connection within you that gives you the edge sometimes, that gives you the kind of um, up on your competitors or the naysayers, 
that come through for you. So you definitely have a lot of achievement and you definitely have challenges and challenges. But I think your purpose this month is to just keep going at it. Don't isolate yourself. But also don't get wrapped up in a fantasy of somebody else's making that results in your failure. I think this is something that you can work towards. But I do wish you all the very best. Let me know in the comments below how things work out for you. If you do want a reading from myself, all you have to do is click on the description link below. And also, if you want to donate a coffee, um, that's very welcome. I need all the caffeine I can get. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will love you and leave you. I look forward to reading for you in July. And take care of yourself, Taurus.